scientists. So today we are going to do an experiment with the sun. You should have printed out your um, scientific method planning sheet. And I want you to go ahead and on materials right now, write sun. We're gonna work a little backwards today. I'm gonna give you the materials and then I want you to help me come up with a question. So, we're gonna use the sun. We're going to use thermometers. And now you don't have to do this experiment at home. I'm gonna do it and then I'll show you the results. If you have these materials and you wanna try it at home, that's great. Um, so thermometers, and we're gonna need three, or if you're doing it at home and you have one that maybe you can scan on your head, you might be able to scan the next thing in a minute. So we need thermometers, and we need three of them, okay? And then the last thing you're going to need is you're going to need three different pieces of paper. You're going to need white paper, black paper, and I guess I lied, two different pieces of paper, and tin foil or aluminum foil. So those are the last three materials you'll need. So you'll need white paper, and again, you don't have to do the experiment because I'm going to do it for you. Black paper and tin foil. So now let's think about what we've learned about the sun. We know the sun is a giant what? Star, right? And it is very, very hot. So what question could we come up with if we were using white paper, black paper, tin foil? We know we also learned that the sun attracts and lets out energy, right? So what question could we come up with? I'll give you some think time. So the question that we're going to ask, and hopefully you came up with something similar, is what material will attract the sun's energy the best? And we're asking a question, so we're making sure we put a question mark. So our next step after we come up with a question is we're coming up with your hypothesis. Which one, which material, the white paper, the black paper, or the tin foil, do you think is going to attract the energy the most? So that means which one is going to be the hottest? Which one do you think? So that's where you're gonna write your hypothesis. And remember, we always start our hypothesis with, I think, and you're going to fill in that part. That's gonna be part of your discussion post, okay? And I like scientists that explain their thinking. So you think it's going to be either the white paper that's gonna get the hottest, the black paper that's gonna get the hottest, or the tin foil, and then try to come up with a because. So then our procedure, and remember, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out after I say goodbye to you, and I am going to lay out the tin foil and the paper. In a sunny spot. Now I'm also, after I lay them out, I'm gonna lay a thermometer on each one. And then I'm gonna wait 
for a couple hours. I'm probably going to wait until lunchtime and then I'm going to go out and check them. So let's see if I go out at like 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11, 12, maybe wait three hours. And then I'm going to check the temperatures. Okay, so then we'll come back and we'll talk about the results and you will come up with your conclusion. So right now I want you, if you haven't already done so, to come up with your hypothesis. Which one do you think is going to attract the sun's energy the best? Which one's going to be the hottest? The white paper, the black paper, or the tin foil? And then if you can come up with a because, great scientists come up with their thinking, their explanation. We already came up with the materials. We came up with the procedure. In a couple hours, I'll check back in with you and I will let you know the results. And then you will come up with your conclusion, okay? And for your discussion post now, you can't do that yet. You have to wait until our um, video where we check in. You will post your hypothesis and your conclusion, okay? All right. I can't wait to see the results. Have a great day and I will check in with you soon. Bye.